Well, a man who's worked as a school bus monitor for the Plymouth Canton District is accused of sexually abusing a child. Tonight, Rocky Perillo is proclaiming his innocence, but investigators say other possible victims are already coming forward. Let's get to Sean Leahy. He joins us live in Northville tonight where Perillo was arrested. Sean, it's important to point out that the current charges are not related to his work at the school district. Carmen, I'm glad you said that. That's the big picture here. No students with Plymouth Canton School involved in this investigation whatsoever. But here's the concern. Perillo was a bus monitor on one of the buses here behind me, which means he had access to kids. So the school district, in an abundance of caution, they are contacting parents tonight who did have children on Perillo's bus. From any kind of like predator. I don't hurt kids. I don't hurt kids. Rocky Perillo breaking down in court, facing very serious charges that he sexually abused a young girl about five years ago when the girl was just nine. The girl feeling confident enough now to come forward. Your Honor, I am I am not guilty of this. I did not do these things. This is all being recorded, sir. I just want you to understand that. While Perillo insists he doesn't hurt kids, his job is to help them. He passed a background check with the Durham Bus Company and has been working as a bus monitor for disabled students with Plymouth Canton Schools. He was arrested Wednesday and today has been placed on unpaid leave. And sir, these charges are not stemming from his current employment, but it's definitely a concern to us that he is employed uh, as a bus monitor and has uh, contact and access to children. But there's more. Another girl has now come forward with allegations that Perillo allegedly abused her. Plymouth Township Police are also looking into allegations that Perillo allegedly victimized someone when he was working in home health care. And police say they're also hearing from young girls that say Perillo would allegedly ask for their number and text them. Police call that grooming. Through the course of that investigation, we were contacted by several other girls um, in which he had initiated contact with. Uh, in most of those cases, the parents intervened before it progressed. I'm not guilty of this. I didn't do this. Well, despite what Perillo had to say to the magistrate in court today, he still was slapped with a $750,000 cash bond. So he's being held right now, facing two counts of criminal sexual conduct. A third may be on the way here. Just one of those counts carrying a, a life in prison to 25 years. Carmen, Devin, investigators tell me that, yes, uh, he has a case here where he allegedly uh, had sexual conduct with a minor, but then was texting other minors. They are saying that is a, another reminder for parents to watch what their kids are doing if they have a phone, if they have access to computers at home. Back to you.